Like, okay. About All right. Practice guide. I would like them turned in. I'm going to look them over after I get the PowerPoint all kind of going and stuff. The big thing about uh, the practice guide, if you'd like it back, find it dandy. It is due tomorrow. Yeah. Okay. Um, but I do want them, I'm, I'm going to look at them to see if you've actually completed it. If you did not complete it or turned it in yet, um, make sure you get that turned in. So since I was going yesterday, I have an extra day, right? Nope. So, that's how it works. All right. All right um, so, you so, want it like with two not finished right now? So, um, uh, practice guys due today. Uh, make sure those are turned in. Um, we're gonna, I'm going to hand out the special test here in a second. We'll get started. Um, I think it's pretty straightforward, pretty easy. But um, you got to know, you got to kind of, hopefully you paid attention last couple days since we were on you. Um, Okay, uh, if you need to borrow a calculator from me, I got plenty over there. Do that right now before we get started. Uh, I'll go through the directions as always. Uh, I've actually put the directions on the PowerPoint here in a little bit. So hopefully it'll be a little more cleaner than just me talking through it. Um, but I'm going to go through it pretty quick. That way you get a max amount of time to actually work today. Um, I, I will put the quadratic formula on the PowerPoint. I'll do that right before you start. So the PowerPoint won't be going for the first minute or two. I'll just add that uh, quadratic. I forgot all about that one. All right. Everyone get one? Perfect. Okay, let's go through. Okay, let's, let's go through the, uh, the actual test questions. Let me get rid of the uh, PowerPoint here. All right. Wait, on the PowerPoint are the cube and the square roots of the m. Yeah, they're on. Yep. Okay. Okay. Hopefully you've turned in your tests and practice tests. Yeah, I assume you have. Okay. Should click through this automatically. It'll go pretty quick. Um, big thing today. Make sure you take your time. If it spills over tomorrow, find dandy. Okay. Problem number one. Simplify it using the um, simplify the exponential expression. It's a law of exponent problem. Do the best you can to simplify it as far as you can. Um, I think it's pretty easy. Number two, um, try to simplify the radicals. Um, on the PowerPoint, the radicals, like the cubes and squares, are on there. Unless you use that other method, then you wouldn't have to worry about it. But they are on the PowerPoint, the nature of it. Um, number three, use the picture. The picture actually, I thought, looked really good. Um, uh, and you have to answer the question about that, that picture on, on number three. Um, number four, you have to find the area that's in the shaded part, and I think that picture actually looks pretty good. Um, better than most, I would, I would say. Um, make sure you're showing all the work on those. Uh, five, factor as far as you can, doing correct factoring and stuff. Um, yeah, so go as far as you can. If you stop midway, I do count that as wrong, if you know how many steps you've actually didn't finish. Um, number six, um, it is a differential quotient. Um, make sure you're taking the function I just provided you, plug it into the formula that is printed on the test, and you can simplify that thing down. It'll take you a few lines. Uh, seven, write the equation in point slope form and standard. Those are on the PowerPoint, plus they're written on the board in case technology fails. Um, uh, but make sure you're showing, you know, the work on the transition from one to the other. Eight, you have four answers. You've got to add, subtract, multiply, and divide the two functions. Um, and then tell me the domain of each one. Make sure you take your time on that. Um, number nine, that is a composite function. Work inside out. That's your only hint. And I do provide the functions what they mean. Um, so kind of work your way in it, inside out. Um, ten. You have to um, divide. You can use any type of division. I recommended one on your test there. Um, you don't have to use that one. You can use the other one if you like. Um, but I would like you to uh, divide that. Okay. Um, 11, find the possible rational roots. Check which ones work. Once you find one, find the remaining ones. And yes, they will work. There is some easy ones in there. Um, let's see. 12, you have to graph the uh, hyperbola. So make sure you know your hyperbola formula. It is on the PowerPoint, both versions, vertical versus horizontal. Uh, so make sure you are paying attention to that. And then number 13, I, as I warned you, was going to be a problem. That was the only problem that was going to sit in 13. You will have to complete the square of that problem. So keep that in mind. Okay, that's your entire semester test. Okay, take your time. Uh, I'll add the quadratic formula on the PowerPoint real quick, and then I'll... Then I'll uh, 
then I'll let you get started. Okay? All right.